Okay guys, here we have a metal hull boat uh, which has a very poor mobile phone signal inside. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to install the Stella Marine mobile phone booster kit inside this boat. Follow me. Okay, so here we are inside the boat and I've got the Stella Marine repeater kit in front of me. I've got the GSM 900MHz amplifier here. So they're the frequencies we're going to be amplifying. I have the panel antenna here. This is going to be installed inside the boat. I've got some coax cable here, which is going to be routed from outside to inside the boat. And finally, I've got the omnidirectional antenna. And this is going to get installed outside. So let's have a look at the signal inside this boat. Here's my phone, and I'm on the uh, GSM I'm looking at at the moment. And if I put, have a look at my signal bars there, and you can see there are no signal bars inside this in the hull of this boat. So what we're going to do is we're going to go outside now. We're going to take the omnidirectional antenna and this coax cable and I'm going to install it. Okay, so here I have the omnidirectional antenna. I have it installed uh, on this, uh, this rim here. It's more ideal to have this omnidirectional antenna installed on top of a mast as high up as possible on your boat. But for demonstration purposes and simplicity, I've just installed it here. So let's go inside now and uh, take a look at the repeater and internal panel antenna. Okay, so we're back inside the boat again and I've got the outside antenna installed and I've got my cable installed. So now we want to install the repeater and the internal panel antenna. So here's the repeater and I'm going to install it here. Here's the outside uh, coax coming in at this point. So I'm going to attach it to my repeater like so. Now I'm just connecting my repeater to this uh, wall here using duct tape. You could actually screw it in but just for convenience sake I'm doing it like this. And then my panel antenna here same thing I'm going to first of all I'm going to attach the cable here and then I'm going to just again I'm just using duct tape but you would screw this in normally and then I have that placed like that so that's my system there and um, here's the power cable we're coming straight off the 12 volt boat battery so plug that in there now if I plug it in like that we can see uh, the repeater boots up LED 1 to 6 is signal power. At the moment we're getting between two, let's say three, four bars, which is a pretty good signal here in the boat. And uh, LED 10 is power. LED 7, this blue light, means that there's communication between the phone and the repeater. Uh, so whenever you see that blue light, you know that your phone is now communicating with the repeater and it's working well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to switch the uh, repeater off because what we're going to do is we're going to do a test to see the effects uh, on the phone with the, repeater, with the repeater off and the repeater on. Okay, so let's check out the phone. Here's my phone at the moment. And as you can see, uh, it's just we have zero bars at the moment. Okay, so now let's have a look at, let's see when we plug our repeater back in. Okay, here's our repeater back in. Uh, it just boots up, it takes about two or three seconds. And now if we go look at the phone again, now we'll see, we should see the signal bars rising slowly. There they go, they're climbing right up to the four bars there. Oops, and there we go, the fifth bar there. So we can see that the repeater is now giving us five bars. So there you have it guys, the Stella Marine repeater. Um, how to install it and how it works with uh, a mobile phone for GSM 900 frequencies. Thanks for watching.